Hello. Uh, I've been recently asked on a comment uh, to talk about um, the lesson planner, which a lot of people have bought. Uh, it was hinted that maybe uh, an additional video that could help go along to explain how things could be used would be useful. So here is that video. A uh, very short video, really, etc. Any questions, comment, you know, come back to me, etc. But um, I'm going to go and show you some of the things that we can do. Now, if I just share the screen with you, uh, here is the lesson planner. You will have one of two of the versions, the standard blue version or the gold edition, etc. On the Lesson plan, whichever version you've got, they're um, both the same in a sense, but they are they're used inside, etc. It's just additional things like pre updates that come. Now, I want to explain something which is very, very difficult to sort of show without the video, etc., etc., without doing it by hand. But the book is designed um, to sit on your lap in such a way that you, you are looking at the words. Words are looking at you if you've got a book now holding it out, and the images that the pictures are being shown to your pupil. And what I used to do, particularly at the beginning, when I'm really trying to make sure that I don't miss anything, and of course, for a part three test or a standards check, etc., you want to make sure that you tick all the boxes. You can be a bit nervous or something, you could forget them. So, what I tended to do is I used to sort of put my hands sort of innocently across the page on my lap. You know, I used to just put my hands down, etc. Apart from which, I'm, I can be quite animated with my hands anyway. So this sort of helped me keep my hands still. And then what I would do is, as I cover each thing, I bring say, my left hand down, so this would expose here the gold. So I would talk about the gold of my pupil, have a conversation with my pupil about what I've been trying to achieve today. When I've covered the gold, my hand would come down again, and I would talk about the What's realistic? Is it a realistic goal by covering things like, you know, a recap, etc.? What have they done last week, etc.? Coming down a bit further, we discuss the options. How would you like me to teach today, etc.? And then again, coming down to the way forward. Then eventually, what I do is, in a sense, I sort of swap hands as I come down the other side, and then I be come back checking things that I'm checking the, like on this one, the approaching junctions, etc., the MSPSL routine, and eventually, of course, my hand would come down off the page again. If you find the hand trick is not what you want, etc., then quite acceptable. Use ticks, you know, tick things off. Use a dry marker pen on the thing that's always designed for. Just tick them off so you've done them. Just making sure that everything is done and you can have a glance back through at each stage just to make sure that you've done things so you know if you've started to find yourself getting in towards the lesson and you glance down and you realize you haven't spoke about the options so put them in now you know you can see here options isn't ticked and really oh you know i forgot the options go and do the options so you're not really going to forget things and likewise coming down here tick them off or cross them out or whatever at the end of the lesson just simply wipe them off okay this is how i do it likewise when i'm looking at the diagram i might do something similar i might be talking to my people and saying right so when we're emerging left what mirrors would we use i might circle them or tick them okay and what signals would we use position speed look etc etc and again likewise if we were turning right i would cover each individual thing i might even cover the stop sign etc etc tick them off tick them off and sort of an aid memoir to ensure that i've covered all these things remembering all the things that are in here come from the learning to drive syllabus as set by the dvsa so by covering each of one of these things you're going to effectively know that you've done them you're not going to get into a situation where an examiner is ever going to say, oh, but in my opinion, you should have covered seagulls. <laughs> or, you know, in my opinion, you didn't cover the note that the exhaust makes. You know, nobody is going to make something up and add it in, etc. Um, it's going to be done with the learning to drive syllabus. Looking at the page here, just to explain other things, the left-hand side is a bit like sort of the pre-art, sort of less 
the, you know, using the grow model, it's the pre parts, etc. Really, these things are done before you get into the main body. The middle section covers things like what we need to be covering, either in briefings or Q&A or on the road, etc. At the top, I put a teaching note for most lessons. Teaching note is normally something that is possibly particular to that particular lesson, okay? And just a really healthy note. The third and final stage over on the right there covers the end of the lesson, really, the debrief, what we're going to do. Uh, these are very much the same for most lessons, but again, they're there so you can tick things off as you go along. Tick what went well, what didn't go so well, what risks were there, et cetera, et cetera. And I normally put in a Dave's top tip. And these are generally not necessarily about this lesson, but in teaching in general, I can give you some sort of information, some sort of skill, or you know, advance you further. Normally, they are related in some way to the lesson. Um, in terms of this one, you know, this is junctions and merge is a great way of transferring information from known to unknown. The information known from the junctions approach. A lot of it is very much similar to the junctions and merge. So you can transfer a lot of the information. And then looking forward to the next lesson is a reminder, a prompt for you to think about asking the pupil what we are likely to do next week. And I normally put in a color key. And again, it's just to remind you that the red is the probably the unknown, orange may be known, and green is probably known. Okay. It's going to differ for each pupil every time, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, bear that in mind. It's just a sort of a hint um, to you to remember. Well, of course, anything you can find out is it's known by just asking the question, okay? Hopefully that's been useful for you as an explanation, et cetera. If you want any more information, then visit the website dte-elite.co.uk. There's a lot more information on there. And of course, contact us on info at info, info, info at dte-elite.co.uk, et cetera, et cetera. I'm hoping you're enjoying the lesson planner. If you aren't one of the people that have left one of the wonderful reviews so far, then please do, because it does help other driving instructors benefit, et cetera. And also, on another note, as a PS really, look forward to a new products which are emerging, etc. I'm currently writing a driving instructor training manual for those that are looking for getting into driving instructor training and supplementing income and building their own school. Thank you very much. My name is Driving School Dave. I'll speak to you all going soon. Bye bye for now.